So I just got off the phone with this guy at um, with customer service at GoDaddy, and and they always give amazing customer service. I know there's probably lots of things that they're doing that I really wouldn't want to know, corporate wise, whatever. I got past the whole elephant thing. Apparently that guy's no longer the CEO or the owner or I don't know whatever. Anyway, so I'm having this great. I always have these great conversations with these customer service people at GoDaddy, and we're looking. You know, I had a question because I changed the name of my show to more medicine, a woman's journey to motherhood, God, and orgasmic divorce. It used to be, I need more medicine, sacred naked's journey to motherhood, God, and orgasmic divorce. So I just bought the domain moremedicine.guru. That's the new thing, .guru, because .com was like five grand, moremedicine.com. And, you know, the evo evolution of the Internet, you know, I'm trying this guru thing. So I wanted to shift my website for the show over to moremedicine.guru and you know we're looking over and of course they go into the little sales mode and he's looking at my like you know 30 domains that I've collected over the past few years and he was you know he's telling me you know my different options I could pay four ninety nine a year and have the option to sell some of the ones that I'm letting expire and you know he 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 he's like divorce is oxygen what's that it's a domain I bought like you know a year ago and uh, he's like what's that and I said, um, it's a true statement. That's what that is. <laughs> and so we start laughing and he starts going into like, you know, like I'm the relationship goddess, right? So he starts telling me all about his relationship. I'm in a customer service, technical support phone call. And this guy's telling me how, you know, he and his girlfriend, uh, you know, long exclusive relationship and they're already raising a child together, their child, and they're going to get married. And he's like, so what are you telling me? I shouldn't get married. And I'm like, oh, man, you don't, you have, you don't know who you're talking to. You know? <laughs> like, so I'm like, I'm not saying you shouldn't get married. You, you Check out my website. You know, you want to, like, read and look at some of the videos I'm putting out there. Just, you know, stay conscious. Stay in really good communication. You know, statistically, you know, you got about 50% chance of, make, you know, making it. You've been together a few years already. You're happily raising a kid. Why do you want to get married? So we're talking about this. And I'm like... What's the marriage? What does it mean to you? You know, and it's just so fascinating to me, like never endingly fascinating to me. You know, well, her, her parents are more, you know, religious and they like that, you know, the, 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 the structure of that and the tradition of that. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. So you're getting married for your, and he's like her and for her sense of the feminine ideal, he said, of like the security and the, um, forget the other words he used and I'm like the security and the like um, not the dignity but like that this the certainty of it and I'm like just listening like yeah 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 that's why a lot of people get married you know there's a lot projected onto this institution of marriage you know so you know we didn't get that far there into it but who knows they may make it they may not they're already happy already in a relationship already raising a child now they're gonna get married We've all heard a lot of stories of people like that, and then they get married, and shortly after they're divorced. Why? Post some comments. Tell me why you think that happens a lot. I'd love that. Let's have a conversation. <laughs>